Google Ads is one of the most powerful tools in the modern marketer's handbook. It provides access to literally billions of potential customers every day. Think of Google Ads as a spotlight that shines directly on your products when people are searching for things like them. Sounds good, right? Let's get them set up. First, we wanna get your Shopify store connected. That is, if you have a Shopify store. If not, you will need one to get started, so I'm going to link a free trial for you in the description so you can try it out and start making some sales. In your Shopify admin, install the Google and YouTube sales channel app. Connect your Google account. Now you're going to have to fill out the app setup. You'll need to add your Google Merchant Center account. You can create a new one by selecting Create New. And here you can customize and manage your product feed settings, which essentially means how your products are going to appear here to your customers. Honestly, everything on this page is really straightforward and Shopify just walks you through the process. Now, it will take a bit of time for your products to sync. If you don't see any products, just check back in a bit. It actually may take about three to five days for them to get approved. But once everything is approved, it's time to start selling. So head to Performance Max, connect your Google Ads account or create a new one, and then you've got your Shopify store connected. So let's get to the exciting part, creating those Google search ads that will bring in the customers. Think of your campaign settings as your game plan. You'll need to pick the right type of campaign. The most common one for Shopify stores is a search network campaign. This means that your ads will show up when people search on Google for things related to your products. Next, your goals. Are you aiming for more sales or do you want more people to sign up for your newsletter? Maybe you want them to visit your website and learn more about you. Google Ads lets you choose goals like these so that your ads are optimized to get the results that you want. Keywords are the words and phrases your customers use to find products online. For example, some keywords for this hot sauce store might be hot sauce, mild hot sauce, gourmet hot sauce, or hot sauce gift set. You'll need to find the right keywords, ones that are relevant to your products and that people are actually searching for. Google has this free tool called Keyword Planner that can help you with this. Just look for keywords that have a good balance of search volume, so this means how many people are searching for them, and competition. This is how many other advertisers are using them. Now I want you to imagine that your ad is a tiny little billboard on a very busy highway. You've just got a few seconds to catch someone's eye. This is where your headline comes in. It needs to be clear, relevant, and attention grabbing. So think about what makes your product unique. Do you offer free shipping? Do you have a special sale going on? Highlight those things in your headline. And don't be afraid to get a little creative. You can make it funny or even super relatable. So your headline is the attention grabber. Your ad copy is the pitch. You've got a little more space here to elaborate on your products and convince people to click. So you wanna focus on the benefits of your products or services, not just the features. For example, for our hot sauce store, instead of saying our hot sauce is made with all natural ingredients, I could try spice up your meals without the heat with our delicious all natural hot sauce. See the difference? Also, make sure to include a clear call to action like shop now or learn more. You wanna tell people what you want them to do. Let's talk money. The fun part, right? With Google ads, you only pay when someone clicks on your ad. You set a daily budget and Google makes sure that you don't go over it. But how much should you actually spend on Google Ads? So there is no one size fits all answer. You can technically start with just a few bucks a day, but honestly, that's not gonna get you very far. To really see results, you'll wanna invest a bit more. Experts suggest starting with at least $1,000 per month, but depending on how competitive your industry is and how ambitious your goals are, you may need to go up to $10,000 or even more. The good news is, is that you can always start small and ramp things up if your ads are performing well. It's all about finding that sweet spot where you're spending enough to get noticed, but you're not spending so much that you're burning through your budget. By the way, if you need help with crafting all of this text for your ad, or even coming up with your budget based on your financial data, you need to check out Google Gemini. This is an AI tool that will act as your business mentor. I have a whole tutorial on it, which I will link in the description for you to watch. And also, if you're new here, welcome. What kind of business are you running? I would love to know, so leave a comment. And while you're at it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're finding it helpful. And if you wanna see more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're here hanging out with you every single week and creating videos that show you exactly how to stay ahead of the curve while you build and grow your business. So you are in good hands here, so hit subscribe and stick around. All right, so we've tackled search ads, which are great for catching people when they're actively looking for something, but what if you wanted to get your brand in front of people who might not even know that they need your product or service yet? That's where display ads come in. Display ads are all about grabbing attention with eye-catching visuals. Think of them as like mini posters or banners that show up on websites 
apps, and even Gmail. Here are five things that you need to know if you're thinking of running display ads for your Shopify store. Blurry or pixelated images scream unprofessional. Big no-no. Use high resolution images that showcase your products in the best light. You can even use Product Studio on your Shopify admin to transform your product images with AI. That being said, you also wanna make sure that your product is the star of the show. Don't clutter the image with too much background or text. You can consider using lifestyle images to show your product in action. This helps people see how they would use it in their own lives. No matter what kind of image you use, it's important to use vibrant colors and interesting compositions to make your ads stand out. You also wanna to try to evoke an emotion or tell a story with your image. This is gonna make your ad more memorable. The key here is to create visuals that are just so appealing that people can't help but stop and notice them. Just like with search ads, your headline and your copy need to work together to tell a compelling story. But with display ads, we've gotta be even more concise because the focus here is on the visuals. Think of your headline as the teaser and your copy as the quick pitch. So like, I could do Spice Up Your Life for the headline and the perfect balance of flavor and heat shop now. Remember, people are scrolling fast, so keep it short, snappy, and enticing. The beauty of display ads is that you can target them to specific groups of people. You can show your ads to people who have visited your website before, people who are interested in your niche, or even people who live in certain areas. Here are some ideas for targeting. You can try targeting people based on their interests, like cooking or food or spicy foods. This makes sure that your ads are seen by people who are more likely to be interested in your product. If you only ship to certain areas or you have a physical store, you can target your ads to people in those locations. You can also target your ads based on age, gender, or other demographic factors if they're relevant to your product. If you really want to take it up a notch, show your ads to people who have already visited your Shopify store. This helps keep your brand top of mind and encourages them to come back and make a purchase. You can use Shopify audiences here. This is a tool that helps stores target customers by creating targeted audience lists. These lists are based from data from Shopify and are perfect for running ads on platforms like Meta and Google. On your Shopify store, you would need to install the Shopify audiences app, connect your Google account, generate an audience list, and this list will be automatically exported to your Google ads account. By really focusing on your targeting, it means that you're not just throwing your ads out there and hoping for the best. You're actually putting them right in front of the people who are the most likely to be interested in your product. All right, you've got your ads up and running. Now, how do you know if they're actually working? That's where tracking and optimizing come in. Google Analytics is going to give you a peek into how people interact with your ads. It tracks things like how many people see your ads, how many people click on them, and even if they end up buying something from your store. Setting it up is pretty straightforward from your Shopify admin, just select View Performance under Google Analytics. You'll be walked through the process of setting up an account, and then that account will be seamlessly connected to your Shopify store so you can track the success of your ads. Once you've got that tracking set up, you'll start seeing all sorts of data in your Google Analytics. You're gonna be like, what is even happening here? But don't get overwhelmed. There are three key metrics that you'll wanna focus on. Click-through rate or CTR. This tells you how often people click on your ad after seeing it. A high click-through rate means that your ad is doing a good job at grabbing attention. Conversion rate. This shows you how many people who clicked on your ad actually took the desired action, like making a purchase or signing up for your newsletter. ROAS or return on ad spend, this is a big one. This is going to show you how much revenue you're generating for every dollar you spend on ads. So think of these metrics as your ads report card. They'll tell you what's working well and what needs improvement. Now that you have your report card, it's time to fine tune your ads. Here are a few tips. Test different headlines and ad copy to see which ones get the best click-through rate. Experiment with different images to find out which visuals resonate most with your audience. Try different targeting options to see which audiences are the most likely to convert. And of course, you can adjust your budget. If your ads are performing well, consider increasing your budget to reach even more people. If they're not performing well, try tweaking them before spending more money. It's important to remember that optimizing your ads is an ongoing process. Keep testing and tweaking until you find what works for you. All right, we have covered a lot. Are you ready to go turn your Shopify store into a top seller? Let's briefly recap some of the main things that I want you to remember so that you aren't going into this process feeling overwhelmed. Link your Google Ads account to your Shopify store. Make sure you have high quality product images and descriptions ready to go. Decide on your campaign goals and target audience. 
Focus on reaching the people who are the most likely to buy from you. Do your keyword research and craft compelling ad copy, remembering to focus on the benefits over the features. Track your results with Google Analytics and pay attention to key metrics like click-through rate, conversion rate, and ROAS. Test different ad variations, targeting options, and budgets to see what works best for your business. Remember, Google Ads is a powerful tool that can help you reach new customers and grow your business, but it does take time and effort. You need to be willing to learn and adapt. So don't get discouraged if you don't see results overnight. Just keep testing, tweaking, and optimizing your campaigns, and eventually you'll find a winning formula. If you have any questions about Google Ads for your business, make sure to drop them in the comments so I can help you out. And if you wanna learn more about the different ways that you can market your business organically using AI, so that means no money, then you're gonna wanna check out this video next where I go over a ton of different text-based AI tools like ChatGPT and Google Gemini, and I'll teach you how to get the best, most personalized responses for your business. So you can even use what you learn in that video to generate amazing ideas for your Google Ads. Using AI is going to help take the load off and make this whole process much more streamlined. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you're ready to go crush your Google ads. And if you haven't got your Shopify store up and running yet, don't forget to grab that free trial link in the description. My name is Bridget O'Rourke and I'll see you next time. Bye.